say DCWL yeah. the V Extreme and we got another good show for you today and now this is gonna be Paul Finch from American Pie fame taking on Omni Man from Invincible and man you know just from the looks of it I have to say I'm going with Omni Man on this because I mean the dude literally squashes people's heads for a living. And I've been really getting into the season two of the series. I don't think it tops season one. And there's Omni Man. And Fight. yeah. And we start off and Paul Finch going for that head takedown, and they're just grabbing at each other, and suplex by Paul Finch on Omni Man. And, ooh, what a big kick. And looking him up in the suplex, stalling suplex position, and boom. Yeah. Like I said, Omni Man clearly has the strongest. But maybe, maybe Paul Finch has something else he can work with. And back suplex. And wait a minute! Oh, he's gonna go for that that clothesline. Means of getting countered. Head take down again. Chop taking the Omni Man down. And yeah, I mean I think this is good I think this is looking good so far and really shoulder drops. I mean, we're gonna have uh, some good fights tonight. And we oh now oh Pay back to bench with that number. And we got number one contendership match for the DCWL tag team titles. The Gorillas taking on Julie, Romeo and Juliet. Which I mean it's gonna be a good one. match and this is all to see Two. who will be Three. going to DCWL with Ben Yeah. I mean, we've already got one so far from the last show. And there's two more, and there's one more show after this to go before we get there. Uh, Irish Whip. Four on to the head, and now Irish Whip, and... Ooh, what a big clothesline. Turning, turning Paul Finch inside out. And I mean, that's what you're going to get with Omni. Omni Man is very strong, he's very brutal, and he has no problem with, with using his warrior instinct against Paul Finch. I mean, the only thing that Paul Finch really can go for is he can try to take Omni Man off his game and knees to the stomach. Omni Man punches, punches. Irish whip. And ooh, taking the logo time. And grappling and jawbreaker. There goes Stone Cold. And drops. And Irish whip. And ooh, kitchen sink right to the gut. Oh, what a spinning heel kick by Paul Bennett, showing some athleticism. And Paul Driver. And Omni Man just flipping off the, the fans. I mean, that's not unlike Omni Man, he does see humans as beneath him. Oh, wait, he's calling for it. What's he gonna do? Omni Man gets it. Stunner! Here's a stunner on Paul Finch. Penny. One, one, two, two three, three, and Omni Man wins. And 
yeah, like I thought, I thought that Omni Man would win this, and yep, he certainly did with the, especially he did with the stunner, his finisher, and you know the next we're going to be having the number one contendership match with the Gorillas taking on Romeo and Juliet. And here we go. I mean, it should be interesting to see how things go. I mean, I can't really say for sure who I would want to have win this. I mean, I guess I could say that the Gorillas have more fight, like they're more of a fight fighting team. Romeo and Juliet, they're more star cross lovers. Very historical for Romeo and Juliet. Although, funny enough, their story actually is more ancient than that. And you can see how in line they are. They both carry roses. Presumably for each other. And, you know, Rose, um, Reading Shakespeare is also in... DCW. I mean, so you're getting a bunch of classic characters that are well regarded. And, I mean, it's going to be interesting to see who wins this. And drop kick punches. And. Both of them look like they're just reversing what they do and I'll punch them. I believe if... Uh, yeah, wait a minute. What's he doing? Oh, he was going to... I think he was going to try to get him out. But he couldn't. And now he did. What? And now everyone's in there and there is going to be... Uh, time to break after 60 seconds. And this is where the chaos is. Two D is the one in there, and that was suplex. And now, wait a minute, Juliet's gonna go to town and go with that back. Room. It looks like Two D's partner. Russell Hobbs is not coming in. I don't know why Juliet went for the play. She's not the legal person in this, and now she's on the outside. And, oh, look at that. Romeo and Juliet, being the star cross lover, they do the, the exact same toss together on the outside. The, that's just a sequence. I mean, I don't really know how. Um, I would say the gorillas are more, more fighters, whereas Romeo and Juliet, they're more lovers. But, I mean, that love could give them an advantage, but it could also be a disadvantage, because what if one of them gets hurt, the other one's going to want to protect them. And more athleticism than Romeo. And he's getting beat the hell out of and now Juliet's in there, and she's now getting on to the Irish whip, and oh, a double arm toss. And I do that. Romeo, frog splash. And, wait a minute, let's see. Power bomb by Juliet. Pretty strong, if I must say. And, ooh, what a big taking out the leg of Juliet with that kick. Now, Romeo follows suit. And, oh, now Russell's in. And now, going for the leg again. I mean, that is a, good, that is a strategy. You go weak the legs, you take out a lot of the momentum. And now, all members are now drawn on the side of the I don't know how to go for the pen. Hobbs now 
little stuff in there like that. And they're both, both Romeo and Juliet's going to town on them. Juliet is not the legal person, I believe. And Juliet, she's pumping up. And she just leaves. And what a flip. I mean, you gotta say, Romeo is being very athletic in this. Can't take Oh, what a counter! Just flipping, reversing that German suitcase. And now Juliet is in. And oh, she's taking the audience to kiss her ass. And now she's got her arms. Oh, she was, I think she was going to the lake again. Outside, but we gotta take care of punches on the inside. And punches, little oh, got knocked down. But there's a lot of action. And Romeo pulls him down. It looks like they're both fighting on the inside wall. Romeo once again gets knocked down, and now 2D is the legal man. And what punches to Juliet? 2B or not 2B? That is the question. Is is it 2B that Romeo and Juliet will get to be the number one contenders, or will that be the Corona? I mean, who knows? This is DCWL and I'm thinking that. Especially the rebound of DCWL. And now, ooh, what a big flip. That front flip. And, oh, a kick. Juliet's on the outside and she manages to get in before she can get kicked off. And nope, didn't get to do anything. And go, there's brawling at it, chop, kick, and hurricane. Like I said, both teams are being pretty lucha in their in their offense. And they deal with that front flip, senton. And now, one, two, two to the outside, and three. It looks like they want to four. go after Romeo, which, I mean, I would imagine Romeo would be the stronger of the two. So it might be oh, what a big Sent to the outside but by Hobbs. That leaves 2D and inside the ring. And we got sent to the steps. Back on the drop by 2D and the Jordan. Picking him up, up on the corner and and now just beating the hell out of him, beating the hell out of him. Oh, I forgot. And now, now Romeo is there. It looks like 2D is all geared up. And now Hobbs is back in. And now we do the split reverse. And 
Romeo goes for a drop kick. Gets countered into a back Splash. did that earlier. Irish whip and rip one. Then one, two, two count, count two. two. This is, wait a minute, and look, now Roby is being more athletic for flipping out of everything. Successful in doing so. Chop, now he's getting some offense. And he a little bit of now he's being cocky with taunting Hobbs. Irish whip, but Romeo dodges it. Getting all pumped up. What's he gonna do? He puts him in the corner, and Juliet's interfering in there. That puts him in the other corner. And what's Romeo gonna do? Romeo and jumping Hurricane Rana. Wow, that could do it. One, One two, two, three. Pin. Romeo and Juliet are the number one contenders to the DCWL Tag Team Titles. Man, what a great match. One can't argue with that. That was really brutal. And I mean... Yeah, I definitely get a kick out of it. Good job to Romeo and Juliet. And... Yep. Good play. And now our next match of the night would be Paul Phoenix versus Unicron. And, I mean, I gotta say, I'm going with Unicron on this. The dude is a world eater for a reason. He was in a tag team with Galactus in NCWL. They were called the world eaters. And I mean, what's funny enough is that they actually fought on death battle with Galactus winning. Now we got Unicron coming out. And I mean I'm going with Unicron on this because I mean he's just a massive being. And he's very powerful, he definitely has the size and power. I mean you can also say that he's scared to be skillful. So I mean he is coming in with a lot of edges, but I mean Paul Phoenix is no slouch. Fight! Paul Phoenix will do what he has to do to, to win. And, and ooh, what a big punch. Irish whip first. And it turned out he gets hit. Another reverse. Drop kick blocked. They seem to be counting each other later. What's what's he gonna do? Oh, he's trying to pick up the pick up to it. I mean, yeah, like I was pointing out, he is massive. Now spin kick over right the back. In terms of formal fighting, I mean I guess you could say Paul Phoenix has an advantage there in the room. Picks him up and he does pick him up. Second attempt is a charm. And suplex. Yeah. And... Yep. And... 
Oh, and that suplex. Of a unicorn. Of a drop. Drop kick block. They both seem to be counting each other pretty good. And another kick to the back. Looks like Paul Fuchs is all the way up and moved that ball back and got blocked. Oh, he puts that block again. Taking out Paul Fuchs again. Punches. And now, back and again, back suplex, taking Unicron down. And that springboard leg drop from the outside end and grabs him he's going to pick up again and he does it again a big scoop slam sending the unicorn down and Paul Phoenix is all geared up and again unicorn's trying to block everything he can it's from the corner and what's he going to do and wait a minute, is this what I think it is? Is he going to do it? Bronco Buster! How humiliating on the unicorn. Just Bronco Buster is putting all of his weight down on his chest. I'll take the breath out of him. Irish whip and Superman is going to take the breath out of him. gets the better end of that. He's really taking advantage of Unicron. I didn't think I'd see that. The headlock takedown. I can see a lot of those. Things. Chops, punches, punches. Punches from Paul onto Unicron. Irish whip and... Oh, I don't know what he's going for. I think he was going for like, like that. Like a jumping clothesline that he missed. picks up Unicron again. And now, Paul Phoenix is, is all hooked up and puts him in the corner. Is he going to do this again? Yes, it looks like he is. He's going for the Bronco Buster. And once again, he's sitting on all this weight on top of the chest of Unicron multiple times. Caving in the chest. One, one, two, two, three, three. Pinball. Paul Phoenix wins against Unicorn. Man, I mean that's a surprising result. I was wrong. I thought certainly that Unicorn would win, but I guess Paul Phoenix proved to be a better fighter. So, I mean, yeah, it is what it is. Good win for Paul Phoenix. You know, Jules has been a hell of a ride so far. We faced all sorts of challenges, taking down our fair share of tough opponents. But tonight, tonight the atmosphere is different. Damn right it is, Vince. Tonight it should be made clear that we are not just individuals, but we are a team. A team that's unstoppable, a force to be reckoned with. We've been doubted, we've been tested, but every time we step foot in that ring and call leagues, we prove why we're the ones to be. So to all you other teams out there, you better listen up. Vincent and I ain't just here to play nice, we're here to win. Then whether you like it or not, we're bringing the pain. So buckle up, cause this ain't gonna be pretty. And for those who dare to step in our way, well, they'll be seeing stars, because Vincent and Jules are taking it to a whole new level. Oh, wow, that was an interesting development. <laughs> I mean, Pulp Fiction is really putting out how that they feel themselves to be a threat. 
and that other team should look out for him. Maybe Macho Jeff and Zangu should take them out. It's a good notice. And this our next match of the night is our Divas match. This is Holly Palm versus Violet Beauregard. And definitely the edge has to go to Holly Palm. She's a very experienced fighter, defeated many legends, including Ronda Rousey. So yeah, Violet Bogart is going to have Fight. a lot to, to conquer in this, if she hopes to beat Bogart. I mean, he kicks, and now it's gone. Now, Violet Bogart is such a bad. I mean, this fight definitely favors Holly Holmes, as any real fight does. And, I mean, Violet Bowergard, I mean, she's known for being athletic. She, she's known for shooting bubblegum. And, and doing it for record times. And she seems to be athletic. So, I mean, she has that goal. Um, I mean, she is still taking on one of the uh, best fighters out there. And now, grab her arm and arm right there. And, ooh, come on, right on. Ooh, what a big punch right in the back of the head. Hit, hit, and it's happening. And they lose a throw and run under by it, oh god. Nothing there, and every time. It seems like it's being predictable now where Holly Hunt is taking back to go for a slap and countering, oh, another counter into an eye I would imagine the slap from Holly Holm hurts. One! I mean, I know I wouldn't want to be slapped by either one. One! Two! Except to the outside. Three! Hit. And now... Oh, the little arm suplex. And now... Now, Holly Holm's getting the punches too long. Again. I think Two. Holmes is taking a breath. Three. Four. And five. Holly Holm went to the outside, but only put five blue guards to her back there. Holly Holm is going for a bunch of punches. And five blue guards are going to really get to a suplex. And, ooh, look at that kick. And now she's telling her to break it. And now the eye poke once again. And now, you know, what a taunt. A cat taunt. Irish whip into the corner. Hit. And, oh, another eye poke. The other taunt is like taunting Bali Bogart. She was toying with her. Back right Oh, now telling her to suck it. What's she gonna do? Ground from behind and ooh, and go to PDT. One, 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 two, two. Count down. Oh, count two. That was close. Kick, punch, slap. Now headlock takedown and kick sending by the boat guard down. Man. This is a pretty interesting ringer. I mean, you can't say that Bob Bogart hasn't been putting up a good fight. And, oh, what a slam. I think I got a side slam to be exact. And for the eye poke, Holly Holm Green taking a lot of good tricks in this match. And Tommy. I think you could say.
say she has no idea. I mean, I think you can say that she doesn't really think much about the guard. Maybe she shouldn't es underestimate her. I mean, like I said, Bob Beauregard does have her own accomplishments. Grab her in. No, wait a minute. With schoolboy. One, one, two, two. Count two. Oh, count two. So close, Holly Holmes. Almost got it. Punches. Punches. There's a little kid with the left hand. And now, she's telling her to suck it. What's she going to do now? Grabs her in now. Wait, I put Jawbreaker in. Pretty combination. One, one two, two. Count two. Count two again. God. Holly Holmes almost had it. Violet Beauregard is showing massive durability. And missed that. That splash. A stinging splash. Oh, and a big slap is sending Violet Beauregard down. And, oh, what a big punch. Sending her down, too. I mean, this is where the fighting experience comes into play. Oh, what a knee to the face. I think that's sending her back. Big punches. And now, one. Lower guard sitting. Two. Holly Home to the outside. And now, they trade spots. Back in. Slaps. Slap. Punches. Slap. Looks like Bob Beauregard's getting some offense in. Way to go, Violet Beauregard. And a headlock takedown. Low blow attempt blocked here. And slap and another was countered. And now, the one slap. And now, wait a minute, it looks like Bo, uh, Beauregard's going for her own movement. Oh, what a baby maker. Kick to the gut. One. One. And only a one count. Man, I think that was Bob Beauregard's best shot to this day, the baby maker. And now, working on the leg. Man. Hitting, oh, again with the eye poke. And oh, what a punch. And this attack gets counter with her own punch. An elbow drop. And ooh, punch of her own. Punch. It seems like whenever Holly Holm is trapped, whenever Holly Beauregard is getting some offense in, she gets an eye poke right out of her. Sock in a minute. Roll up. One. One two, two, two. Count two. Count two. Holly Holm is going for all these pinning attempts, but Bob Beauregard's kicking out of it repeatedly. Punches. Punch back. Sing her back in. Irate. I mean, Holly Holm's been working on the eyes in this match. Which, I mean, is pretty good idea if you want to think about it. I mean, take away the field of vision, make it hard to hit. He's going for a kick and blocking the now. Oh no, we on the leg. Oh, shot the ground. Hit. Hit. Shot the game in. Oh, hit back to the base. And now, oh, what a takedown by Holmes. He's so good back there. Attack the ground. Right to the, the chest of the head. 
Lengthy as this, and now he's taunting, and wait a minute, he goes from behind, and oh, what a big German suplex! I mean, that could be it. One, One two, two, three, three. Violet Beauregard pulls off an upset, you gotta say, against Holly Holmes. She was able to beat her with that big German suplex, dropped her right on her freaking head. Man, I think that knocked her out silly. I think Holly Holmes underestimated her and was toying around with her. And that ended up costing her in the end. Man. Good job. Well, 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 look what we've got here tonight. A whole bunch of candy asses lining up for a beatdown. You punks think you've seen it all, but you haven't seen anything until you've been kicked in the teeth by the Duke himself. I've chewed bubblegum and kicked ass across galaxies, and tonight, right here, I'm gonna make mincemeat out of anyone dumb enough to step up. So, to all you wannabes, all you losers, and all you creeps out there, Duke's got a message for ya. It's time to get real and face the pain, because the Duke is here to stay. And what a great promo by Duke Nico. He, just like Pulp Fiction before, showed introducing himself and showing know how serious he is and now this is going to be our main event of the night which is Powerline versus Axel Foley and Powerline's a singer from from the Duke movie and Axel Foley is from the government of Tops and I mean this is hard to say who exactly wins because, I mean, if we're just scaling it off of, off of universes here, then Powerline definitely has two bolts on his side, so you can say that gives him a dis you can say that gives him a durability advantage, but also Axel Foley, he is a cop, he has experience, he's used to taking on people. driver. Irish whip into the corner, man. Oh, what a slick move by Axel Foley. Suplex. Like I said, I don't really know who, who's going to win this one. Side, side slam, I mean. I was going to say side slam. That's my own. Power line. Gets a punch and knocks Axel Foley down. And Ooh, what a spin kick. It punches. Oh, what an elbow right to the face of the lady. What's he doing? What's he doing? And, oh, he's going to go for a missile drop kick when he misses. High risk equals high, high rewards, but not in this case. And pile driver. Spiking power line right on the head. Grabbing him. Irish whip. Reversal. And. Ooh. Wait, wait. Side side. Kick right at the face. Both of them seem to be reversing the hell out of each other. Back suplex. We've been having that a lot tonight. And. We got good show. Early on with, with Romeo and Juliet becoming number one contenders to Macho Jeff and Zangief of DCWL Domination Bang. And so I mean that's gonna be a good match to look out for. They join Bob who's gonna be taking on Michael Beck. And yeah. It's gonna be the first CPB since DCWL came back. And ooh, back on a drop. He's on the cup. And ooh, dropping the the fish right on the base of power line. Ooh, go for a super adventure. And it looks like he's calling for the end here. 
He grabs him. And oh, the sky high one, pin. one two, two, three, three. Pinball. And that is all for today. Axel Foley beats Powerline in quick, convincing fashion. That was a great match. And let's see it again. Well, this is all for today. This is Mr. This is Derek the V Extreme saying goodbye and have fun. See you later to the next show.